Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about how to write the equation of a translated parabola. And so, what we're talking about with a translated parabola is very similar to vertex form when we talked about H and K where we translate the parabola left, right, up, or down. And so we did a previous video on how to graph using this form and I'll link that in the cards right now. In this video we are given the graphs and we want to write the equation. So we're gonna look at one example where we have an X equals equation because our parabola is opening to the right and a Y equals equation because our parabola is opening down. So we'll start over here on the left. Notice we have our parabola here in red, we have our vertex, and we have our focus. So the first thing we wanna do, since this parabola opens to the side, we wanna write our equation with x equals, and our equation is one over four p, and then we're going to write x, excuse me, y minus k, quantity squared, plus h, right? So whenever our parabola opens to the left or to the right, we have to not only switch x and y, but we also have to switch h and k, all right? So now we can use our focus to plug in our value for P. We can use our vertex to plug in our values for K and H. So we'll say X equals one over four. And now for our focus, we see we are one, two, three, four units away. So we can multiply by a four right there. And we're gonna write this as Y minus, and now K is our value that is going up. So our vertex right here has a y value of four. So we're gonna say y minus four quantity squared. And then for h, that is our value going left or right. And so since we went left two, we're gonna write minus two, okay? And now we can simplify here. We're gonna say x is equal to one over four times four would be 16. And then y minus four quantity squared minus two. And we can leave our equation just like that, okay? Now for our second example over here, we have a parabola that opens down. So we know our equation should start with y equals. So we have y equals one over four p. And now this time we're going to have x minus h, quantity squared, and then plus k. All right, so, so th this example would probably be our, our um, standard or our normal, I guess you could say, equation where we have y equals, um, like for a parabola that is a function. And so in this case, x minus h squared and then plus k is how we would write that. So we can go ahead and do the same thing. We see our focus here. Um, and so we can use that to find our p-value. So we have one over four times, and now notice our focus um, is, is lower than our vertex. So it's down, and each of these is two units, right? Two, four, six, eight, 10. So we have two, four, and six, right? So that's a negative six for our p-value. And then we have x, and now for h, this is left or right. Notice our vertex right here, we have a, um, an x value of negative six, right? So if we went left six, that is a plus six for our equation. And then for k, our vertex is at a negative four, so we're gonna write minus four. So now we can simplify this, we get y equals one over, or I guess we could write our negative out at the front, negative one over 24, and then in parentheses, x plus six quantity squared, and then minus four. And that would be our equation for our second example. And so that's how you can write an equation of a translated parabola.